Before Emily was even born, I was in love with her. I, I suppose I was uh, biased, but she seemed to me to be quite outstanding. And when she would be in a group of her peers, I would just, it just seemed like she was just very mature for her age and um, very thoughtful and kind, creative, sense of humor, just a great kid. Emily um, would sing with me in church, even as a three-year-old. Um, we would perform and do little duets. When Larry and I met, um, she was in third grade, eight years old. We met in November, we were married in April, so we didn't waste a lot of time. After the wedding, the first year, Father's Day, she gave me a card and she wrote on it, I know you're not my real dad, but I wouldn't mind if you were. She's just always been a very upbeat, confident. She's always had very excellent um, leadership skills. In high school, it was, uh, she did cheerleading and then she did um, dance, speech, and sang in the choir, and um, played bassoon and saxophone in the band. Emily was involved in uh, all of one X, lots of musical, oh, and then community theater too. Graduation was a, it was amazing because Emily was co-valedictorian. She gave a speech having to do with um, dreams and living your dream. And she sang a solo in with the choir and um, she played her bassoon in the band. So uh, she was, it was just really an amazing day. I was like in awe of Emily. She was gonna go, she was gonna go do the things that I could only dream of. seat of the car together and neither one in their seat belts and Bobby was sleeping on, uh, with her head on Emily's lap. A camper, uh, I mean a, not a camper, a large RV had pulled out in front of their vehicle and Emily was thrown over the seat and her face hit the dashboard and she was crumpled up on the floor. There was a medical student in the car behind the RV and he restored her airway and saved her life. In the movie somebody comes out of a coma and it's it's so not like that. <laughs> I thought Emily was gonna come out 100%. It's taken years to realize, I mean, that there's just some things that she's just not gonna be able to do and she can't be, live on her own without some help. And so not even knowing if she was gonna be able to talk and there was a clear, a, one time for sure I remember is when um, I, I told Emily, I said, I love you, Emily. She did whisper, I love you, Mom. And that was like, we're on the road. to um, get a lot of beauty and joy in spite of the situation, but who knows what Emily could be doing right now if she had just buckled up. 
and she thought she was safe because she was in the back seat. Um, it's such a simple thing, but, it's such an but the results of not doing it are so disastrous. So uh, very disastrous. You have no idea what's hap can happen to your life. Yeah. Even if you're not the one in the accident, they, it, it affects so many people around you. I want my own life. I want to be. I want to be married. I want to have kids. I want to have my own house. I want to have my own. My own life, and I, I don't know if I'm ever gonna get that. I, I, I don't know how I ever, I don't even know how to say it. I just feel so um, alone and, and sad. I still have a good life to live. I still have a good life. I, I still love life. It's not the same as it was, but I still want to live. I'm still a new human being, and I still love. Living and loving and, and, and learning new things every day and, and always trying and striving and, and loving everything about everyone. <laughs> See about youth is so insanely important. I can't even tell you, I can't even describe it. I just know that I want people to know that it's... See about youth is so awesome. And so insane when people put it on, it's, it ruins lives.